the Nigerian Senate has ordered the State House officials to stop President Muhammad Buhari from making trips abroad for medical treatment. The Senate Committee on Federal Character and Intergovernment uh, Government Affairs on Thursday warned that this was necessary in order to make sure the State House Clinic becomes functional. The warning was issued to the State House Permanent Secretary, Tijani Umar, who appeared before the panel to defend his 2021 budget estimates. Umar had presented a 19.7 billion naira budget out of which 1.2 billion naira was allocated for the state house clinic. Panel member Senator Danjuma La revealed that the budget would be approved but that the president and top officials of his government should no longer be flown abroad for medical treatment. All right, guys, this is the news at the moment. This is what just came in from the Asurok. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think that this is possible or this will be adhered to? With the type of uh, government that is being run in Nigeria, with the type of leadership that is being run in Nigeria, do you think that it is possible? Currently, as we speak, Mamandaura, the cousin to Mr. President, is still in the UK on medical uh, treatment or for medical leave, as it were. As we speak, the wife of Mr. President, Aisha Buhari, and her daughter, Zara, is outside the country somewhere in Dubai, according to reports on medical uh, issues, as it were. All these are state-sponsored medical treatment bill or whatever travels as it is. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what the reports are telling us. Do you think that the senators can stop the president from traveling abroad on medical treatment? Well, it remains to be seen if that is going to happen. But to a very large extent, if it happens, then it is good news. Because we should have a government that can, you know, echo the voices of the general public or Nigerians. The president should not be traveling abroad for medical treatment when we have scarce resources. When he is complaining of scarce resources when the hospitals back home are not working properly, when medical health care for an ordinary Nigerian is unaffordable for the man on the street. Not just the president alone, even the senators and all other House of Rep members or other government officials like ministers and all what have you, civil servants, as it were, they all should not embark on any medical trip. So if this can be achieved, it will go a long way to help us all or to cut down on expenses, the expenditure of government, as it were. But however, it remains to be seen if that will be the case. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed and uh, watch how things unfold. Let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story. Somebody just said that the next protest will, that will be coming soon shall be targeted towards the senators, house of reps, governors, ministers, and the presidency. Unless they stop using the country's name to borrow money and share among themselves and also cut down the take-home of each senator to be 1 million naira monthly. We Nigerians are wiser now. They are sitting on their destinies of our children 
even yet unborn. This time, they must pay with their lives until they fix the country until they fix the country for everyone to enjoy. Well, it is what it is. If uh, the government officials, those who are serving or, uh, at the government, can take pay cuts, reasonable pay cuts, you know, it shows that they have good intentions, you know, towards the people. And if they stand by it, it also shows that they have good intentions. But or else, if they refuse, then we know that they are greedy people who are after, you know, making money for themselves. And that may not be uh, ac acceptable to the Nigerian youth. Another person says, you can make fool of people, but you cannot make fool of God. What do you think concerning this? Grace Ojang says, when last did late Buhari traveled out of this country? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. Teresa Ogoro says, Yes, that is a good one. Who said that answers will not have a good outcome? More are on the way. The blood of the innocent youths that dropped in this land can never be in vain. All right, we keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. Another person says, can they just restructure this country? Then all of them should be free to go to the moon for treatment if they wish. Okay. Restructuring, according to some people from some quarters, are said to be on the way. But be that as it is, we keep our fingers crossed to see and we see, expect to see how things unfold. The hashtag answers protest is making sense and has begun to yield results. Well, it may not be uh, as fast as people want it. It may not be as um, immediate uh, as a lot of people expect it to be, but subconsciously, it is beginning to make impact and we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Aji Ajimo Obadare Peter says it is too late. Just make sure that henceforth they would be president or political office holders undergo medical test of fitness as criteria to vie for any political post in our country. Please do this by enacting a law to reflect it in our constitution. Well, this is a very uh, potent, uh, or this is a very, uh, uh, this is a good one if we look at it. Public officers, whoever is contesting for public officers should undergo fitness tests, especially when we talk about the offices of the president, the vice president, you know, and uh, all those high offices. They should undergo fitness tests as a criteria so they can be ascertained to know if they are fit medically or not. So that somebody does not get to office and then use our uh, money to go for treatment like we have it, like uh, the past, uh, like, uh, like uh, Buhari did, as it were. So we keep our fingers crossed and see if this will be done. These are some of the things we expect as senators and House of Rep members to be pushing out. But it is not what they do. We wonder what they keep doing in the House and collecting so much money. Well, it is what it is. God's power says, APC government is the worst thing that has ever happened to Nigeria. Well, we all know it as it is, but, you know, it is, we just have to keep working and that is what has yielded or called for the hashtag answers that is beginning to yield results. Agu Lawrence says, you want to fool who? When last did the man in Asorok went for medical treatment abroad? Suddenly, the Asorok officials are stronger than their supposed paymaster. All right, we keep our fingers crossed and uh, we expect to see how things 
unfold. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.